Solving a polynomial by factoring. So this particular problem, what we're going to talk about is when we have any sort of polynomial, any sort of equation that deals with the multiple degrees of x's, and we're trying to solve it out. Whenever we have this kind of thing, we always have to bring everything to one side. Okay, so it's easiest to compare something to zero. In general, we're used to having our largest term have a, co a positive coefficient. So in this case, I want to bring the negative 6 around, and we end up with x squared minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, it's really hard when we have an equation and we're adding and subtracting things and setting it equal to an item because we don't really know what each of these could be in order to add up to 0. But what we can do is turn it into a multiplication problem, and we know how to do that by factoring. Okay? So we can easily factor this, x minus 6, x minus 1 is equal to 0. And now where the multiplication and the fact it's equal to 0 comes in, in handy is that we have two things being multiplied equal to 0. Okay? So what that tells us is we have two things multiplied equal 0. One of them has to be 0. So what that tells us is x either has to be 6, making this 0, or x has to be 1, to make this zero. Okay? As, one, as long as one of these terms is zero, you multiply them together, equals zero as well. So whenever we're solving a polynomial, bring everything to one side, factor it out, and then knowing that two things multi being multiplied equals zero, one of them has to be equal to zero, it's really easy to solve this out.